All right, so this is going to be a basic tutorial on a basic teleporter. So if it'll let me just click, there we go. We're going to grab a plane. And we're just going to lower that a bit. So rather than 180, we'll do 170, 175, 171. 171, that seems good enough. And then we're going to grab another plane and toss it on top of there. Um, we'll do 471. Going up. 472. 3. Just so it's just above and just flush with the ground. Now we're going to go into our volumes and grab a trigger volume. Now this trigger volume, we're going to want it to be scaled down so that it's, again, flush with this plane that we have created. There we go. That one looks good. Now this one. I'm going to shrink it down. And shrink it down. That looks good. And for the last thing that we're going to need to set this up, we're going to need an empty actor, which we're just going to toss in front of each one of these teleporters. Okay, delete that one. All right, now we're going to need to set up the actual teleportation aspect of it. So we're going to go into our blueprints, open level blueprint. There's not going to be anything in here. So first we're going to add an event for the trigger volume, which is going to be on actor begin overlap. From there, we're going to drag out this way, grab our teleport function, and then we're going to get get player character. All right, so this is almost complete already. I'm going to minimize that real quick, and then we're going to grab that little empty actor that we made that's on the opposite side. So we're going to want to grab the one for the opposite teleporter, right? Go to the level blueprint. We're going to create a reference for that actor. From there, we're going to get actor location. And with that location, we're going to set it as the destination location. We'll compile that, save it, and then we'll hit play. And then from there, we'll teleport up here and now we're up at where we were. This one isn't set up yet so now let's just quickly set that one up. Again we're gonna grab that, go to blueprints, open level blueprint, scroll down a little bit and create another collision event. Set up the teleport function. Get the character's player, or the player's character. And even we can do this real quick and just already add the get actor location. Delete the trigger volume part of that. Drag that into the destination location. Minimize it. Select that empty character. Go back to the level blueprint. And then just create a reference to it. And then set it as the target. Now let's see if these work all right. Go back in. Hit play. Oh, and it looks like we've been stuck into an infinite loop. If that happens to you, what you probably ended up doing, just like I did here, is we moved this too close to our teleporter. So now we're stuck inside the teleporter and where we land at the same time all the time, which isn't necessarily a good thing. So now, there we are. We have set up the teleporter. Now, See, if I come into this direction, I'm going to come out that direction, which is why I just continuously teleport. So, because we're continuously teleporting, the best way to go about that would be just to move the ball away. Just like that, so that no matter where you're coming from, you have at least a couple seconds of delay before you're sent back into that teleporter. Alright, 
So now let's set up a teleporter to go into another level. Now, what we're going to do is we're just going to save this current one. Let it, let it do its thing. And we're going to go to File, New Level, Default. And for you guys, you're probably going to have a big open landscape already. But for me, since this is just a new project, there's nothing here for me. But that's all right. We can still go on from here. I can still show you how you're going to go about making your interlevel teleporter. So you're going to grab a cube or a plane. I prefer to use a cube so then at least you can tell the difference between the one that's just going to take you through levels and the one that's going to take you through your world. You're going to grab another trigger volume. And all, as always, you're going to shrink that black guy down and move it over a bit. There we go. So for this teleporter, we're going to want to open up our blueprints, level blueprint. Now this one's going to be different. For this one, we're going to, again, we're going to add an event for the overlap. But instead, we're going to open level. We're going to open up to our old level, which I don't have the name for. One second. So we're going to put in to this one, first person sample map. And then we're going to open up that level from the overlap. All right, so turns out I had made a mistake. So we're going to go back into the level blueprint. In between cuts there, I renamed that level to new room just so that I could have the ease of that. So we're not going to open up the level yet. First, we're going to open up a teleport again. And then from that teleport, we're actually going to teleport to the open level. And then from there, we're going to go first person sample map, or whatever you have that level called. And then what are we teleporting? Well, we're teleporting the player's character. Get player character, right? And that's our target, right? So let's compile it, save it, let's hit play. And now this should be working fine. Got a little bit of lag there, but now we're in the other world. All right, and there we go. And then, of course, if you want to do it the other way around, let's go ahead and do that. So let's open, open level, go back to the original room. You can have all these things in the way, of course. And let's just set that up again. So, again, we're going to go Q. Uh, let's lower it down a bit. Trigger volume. Resize it. Um, looks like we're going to need to move it one that way and one that way. And then from that, we're going to go in blueprint, level blueprint. We are going to create another add event for the trigger collision, actor begin overlap. From there, we're going to teleport. From the teleport, we're going to open level. Uh, for me, my room again was called new room. From there, we're going to go back over here, player character. And with that player character, it's going to be our target. And from all of that, we give it a quick play, find our teleporter, and there we go. Here we are. And you can go back and forth. Now, say you wanted to make it so you went back to the starting world of, say, a castle. You would have to create a third world of a copy of this. So you create a new level, copy all of this stuff here, and then paste it into your new world, and change where your player start position is because that is what's going to determine where you spawn when you open up that new world. In the other world, we have our player spawn 
just in the center right by the teleporter. But here, we would probably be in the new world, probably be spawning about here rather than over here.